Hi, and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. Midlands Hospital maintains a Christmas tradition started almost 25 years ago. And Sump Library offers varied opportunities for people to work and learn. And we continue to introduce new employees to the community. This week, we meet our newest fleet maintenance mechanic. City Happenings for the week of December 10th is next. Thanks, Mayor Black. A Midlands Hospital tradition that began in 1978 continues today. We make these stockings every year for the babies to go home in. Now, nowadays they can't. When we first started doing it in 78, they could put the baby in the stocking and take it home. Now with the car seats, they can't. Well, it's a really neat way for people, maybe who can't come to the to work as a volunteer in the hospital, that they could uh, lend their talents and stuff to make a stocking for a little baby. The first year we did them, they were like a blanket and then we moved into the stockings and what happens is a lot of our volunteers will take a couple of stockings and decorate them to their whatever they want to do and most of them are either hand sewn on or uh, applique on and then we give one to each baby that's born from the Friday after Thanksgiving until Christmas Day. This is my, my fourth year and so kind of through the year you kind of look for ideas and stuff that you want to do on the stockings to make them a little unique and different so um, it's, it's been a lot of fun it's really once you do it once it's really not that hard just making them up and it's fun to know that a baby a new baby went home in something that you made so I think that's special. There is a uniqueness. We try to have a few little rules set up but everybody has their own idea on how to decorate it so we, they do and that's that's what we do we just let them decorate them. And everybody loves a, a new little baby you know it's a special gift and it's really special when they're born at Christmas and then you can that's something that the child can keep, you know, have a keepsake because how many, not that many babies are born at Christmas time, so it's kind of fun. Something special that they can keep with their family. I think it's neat that we, it's just something to, for the community. Sump Library has done some wonderful things over the past few years for its patrons, but they also offer employment and learning opportunities. I think it's great to open our library up to other people. They may have never have been in Papillion. A lot of people have heard about our library. They may be from another part of the, uh, they may be from Omaha or Ralston and, and it's nice to have them come in and see a different library, a library that's run possibly different than the libraries they've been in before. So it's a really good opportunity for them. For, for me it's a win-win. Um, I'm a strong believer in mentors and, and growing people and I, and I think that that's one of the best things our library does not only within our staff, with our volunteers and, and with our practicum students and our interns is that we grow people, we change people's lives and I think I think allowing the practicum students and the interns and it just it's another opportunity for people to grow within a library setting. We'd like to introduce you to another new employee. Ray Dessel is the city's newest fleet maintenance mechanic. I live right here in Papillion so you kind of take pride in your stuff because you know you're putting back into the community that you live into. So it's kind of nice to be able to give something back. We have a pretty good place to live right here, you know, a lot of good facilities, a lot of good things going on with Papillion Days and the Sump Life, of course, the amphitheater. And to be a part of that's kind of nice. I said, I'm, I'm pretty good with cars and the small medium trucks and working on the snow plows, getting ready stuff ready for the winter preparation and hopefully we're caught up before it snows. I don't, I don't consider myself really that great, you know, I just take one day at a time. I figure you can always learn from somebody, somebody knows something else that you don't know, so whether you think you know everything, you probably don't, so I just take it one day at a time and learn from other people and learn from the mistakes I make. Ray's humble self-assessment is too low according to Supervisor Mike Grieve who says we are fortunate and blessed to have Ray. The city invites you to enjoy the holiday lights downtown, around City Hall, and the library. And we appreciate everyone who makes our Christmas event successful. Whether it's workers, volunteers, businesses, or participants, none of these events would succeed without all of you. Thank you very much. And I also want to invite you to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or watch the YouTube channel. And of course, Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more information about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.